Hello, better than only two in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, I did some screwing around, mastering, leveling up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the only other thing I did off screen in between episodes is get Paco up to level 27, just for the hell of it. Oh shit, you know, I never checked out the fucking bulletin thingy. Okay, culture is six now. Ooh, more fairies are born. Jack and Jill, one up the hill. <laughs> okay. I don't know, it kind of looks like... I should be able to build now. Right? Yeah, all right. Population change. All right, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything more right now with this. I'll be doing more screwing around with it later though when I'm leveling up Ray. All right, so, what the fuck is I gonna do now? Oh yeah, go to Rapala. That's what we gotta do next. You gotta talk to Bade. And Sheetus. I'm a big muscly man. Hey, Shadis. You went to Junk Town? Ship is in Junk Town, huh? It's probably where it should stay. You'll eventually know what I mean once you see this fucking ship. It's not a very good ship. This has got to be the lousiest seaport ever in video game history. I mean, honestly, they're fucking, they're fucking terrible. I mean, fuck. They got one boat. And they call themselves a guild? Are you shitting me? It's a joke. It's a fucking... It's a, it's a terrible joke. They have one boat, and once you see it, you'll be like, wow. Yeah. Some boat you got there. Alright, so we're going back to Junk Town. Welcome to the home of the Machine Guild, Junk Town. No, no, it means you got nothing but junk here. Uh, you could call it Hellhole. Travelers? If you're into sightseeing, not much around here. Yeah, big mountains of junk. I guess, I don't know if the, the NPCs, I think, are all, I'll say the same stuff. From what I've noticed. Dock for the ship. Steel Beach. What's going on over here? My name is Bade, Rapala Guildmaster. I've come to get our boat back. What? Yes, of course. Good to see you again. 
Great. Can we uh, sneak in with these guys or what? Oh. Surprise, surprise. All right, so new area finally, huh? We have a dock area. We have steel beach. We have another fishing spot. A couple new fishing spots actually, and a question mark area. What is this? Hey, random fisher guy that looks like Bo from Breath of Fire 2. Fishing gear. Alright, guy. Found a swallow eye. Ooh, look at this. And we get... The question mark gene. This will be useful later on for the ultimate transformation gene because it'll unberserk Ryu. But um, yeah, you know, right now I don't have that. Uh, I don't really need it for anything right now. But yeah, the question mark gene does a uh, number of different things for different combinations. <coughs> We have here man of war flying fish and blowfish. Wow, I already have all these fish. Well, oh, except for one. Holy crap! Oh no, I there's a bunch more. How many different types of fish are there? Jeez Louise, that's crazy. It's like nine or ten different types of fish. Yeah, some new stuff. I don't really care about the fish right now. Let's get on to the dock. Let's see what's over here. This is the Machine Guild's dock. This is where we send the machines out on ships. So they're sending him across the ocean then? Or just to Rapala? Or other areas? I didn't find any parts. Didn't know I was supposed to be looking for parts. Get out of my way, dude. Fuck. Of course not. Well, you see, sir. We didn't know you'd be coming so soon, you see. So we were jerking off. Slacking off. Alright, so heroes to the rescue. We're gonna go look for some parts. Get this damn boat up and running, even though they've had probably all, all the time in the world to do so on their own, but we're gonna end up having to do it for them. Yeah, the people in these, in these areas are just incompetent beyond all belief. I mean, it's their job to fix shit and they suck at it uh yeah we need a boat a 
Unfortunately, you guys seem to be the only one with a boat. Yeah, I know. Of course you're going to have to wait again. <sighs> Go friggin' figure. Yeah, we helped you do everything. You folks have to forgive us. Yeah, yeah. To ask somebody who knows more about me. Oh, yeah, somebody that knows. I gotta put friggin' Momo in my party. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me, coming through. Yeah, I forgot about that. Somebody that knows more about machines. Um, change party members. Temporarily put Momo in there. Or maybe it'll have to be permanent, I don't know. Yeah, he settled into the job. He still doesn't really know a whole lot about anything other than... Other than his bookkeeping abilities. Momo wants to do the repairs, so I guess that's the clue. Put her in your party. <laughs> Lately, I can't relax until I see Peko sleeping. I wouldn't be surprised they're trying to crash the boat on purpose. Just for the simple fact they're like, oh man, look at it now. It's just not repairable. I guess we can't do anything. I guess we're gonna go jerk off now and play cards somewhere. Here you go, Momo. I can fix this. On you go, Momo. Do what you gotta do. Got the memo. Oh boy. That means I can do my TPS reports. <laughs> wow, okay, that doesn't tell me shit. Nice diagram. I don't think you'll be able to find all... Those parts in one place, have to look around, okay. Great. Ask the guild men, huh? Here. Hey, guy. This is the bridge of the ship. We'll take care of things once the ship is working. Okay. Well, you we better get those parts. You better fix it. Instead of just sloughing around like morons.
What do you mean? Well, you do a horrible job at it, so we might as well do it for you. What? You gotta talk to it. Uh. Fine. I'll go back to friggin' town. Although he didn't really say which town. He just, I'm assuming it's gonna be Junk Town. Yeah, I'm putting Peiko back in my party because I'm gonna need him, I think, for this uh, next part. Or maybe it's the part after this. <laughs> Whatever it is, I, I want Peiko in my party for this part. So where is this uh, Guildmaster guy? Are you the Guildmaster? I don't remember who the hell the Guildmaster is in this town. Yeah, they did. Wanna look for parts? Nope, no can do. Come on. Make an exception, man. Great, yeah, alright. Finally. Okay, so first he says, no, I'm not gonna let you, and then he's like, but on the other hand, yeah, go ahead. Fuck it. Whatever. See you later, guy. Thanks for the permission. So yeah, this part right here, this next part coming up, looking for parts, this shit sucks. Well, it's not that bad. It's just... I remember getting stumped playing this game the first few times. Like... You know, I'm just sitting there like, okay, where the fuck is a goddamn part? You gotta be really diligent looking for this shit. Up ahead is a place called Steel Beach. It's called that because it's where all the machines wash up. I said you can't go in there. This area belongs to the, huh? You got the master's permission. Oh, okay, then go on. Yeah, I guess he would have stopped us before and we wouldn't have been able to go in. Alright, so who do I talk to in this area? Do I talk to you? Wait, you can't go in here. Even if the guildmaster said okay, it'd be too dangerous. Why? You should ask the foreman. If he says it's okay, you can go in on. Ah. Gotta go ask some foreman. Looking for parts? Well, you can look on the beach, but I wouldn't go in that freighter if I were you. It's dangerous inside. It's alright. Danger is my middle name. Oh, look at that. Another charism. Get the mutant gene. So, how many more genes do I have left to find in this game? Few. One, two, three, four. Four genes left. Yay. This game is still far from over. Monkey and a flags. Signal flags. So, oh man, yeah, I, I remember this mini game. I remember this mini game being a huge, huge pain in the fucking dick. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like this one. I do not like this one. This one sucks. All right, let's get this thing going. Hmm, I don't know. You look kind of scrawny. 
Do you have anyone big? Yeah, I do actually. His name is Gar. So yeah, you gotta talk to this guy with Gar in the lead. We're going to put you to work on salvage. You and I will work together to pull the rope. Drag up the machines on the ocean floor. Let me tell you how it works. And that fellow there raises the white flag. I'll pull on the rope. So this one you just got to be really patient. When he drops the flag, I stop. The number, the number there's how much rope left. Okay, that's a weird way of saying it. When he raises the red flag, you pull, okay? To pull the rope, hit the X button as fast as you can. Sounds easy enough. But I don't know how many times I fucked this shit up before. Or if you hit the button when the flag's not up. The rope will break and that's it. Yeah, that's bullshit. If you even hit it once in the wrong spot, you lose. And yeah, you don't want to get a difference of two meters or else the rope will break and you lose. Yes, thank you for the demonstration. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite ready yet. I'll be ready in the next episode. This is Veteran 021. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.